Hi. Hi, Carl. Joe Fudge. Oh, nice to meet you. Professor professor's here working with... Where are you from? Okay. Okay, great. Oh, I know. Who would know that? <laughs> you would. They look do float. It actually looks good. Get friendly. Danny, wait, move way down. We're not picking up. So we're going to launch this is our last section of our experiment. When that's in the water and tied off to the dock, we're going to take the previous section and the students are going to drag it, uh, canoe it down to the, the other labs. We're exploring the use of algae as a biofuel, just like corn, uh, except that algae uh, is much more productive per acre gonna, than corn. Gonna, Gene's going to paddle, help us down there by paddling. Right. Yeah. While it's growing, algae is actually very good for the environment. Um, things which would normally be considered pollutants like um, carbon dioxide and nitrogen and phosphates are nutrients for the algae. So the idea is if we grow the algae and then harvest it out of the bay, we're having this sort of continually cleaning process where we're sucking up all these pollutants, including carbon, uh, and, and pulling it out of the bay and then using it for fuel. Well, the big picture is there are four teams working simultaneously on various aspects here. This in-water team is the one I work most closely with, but we've got people doing species analysis at Smithsonian and Maryland, and we've got people doing process at Arkansas and Western Michigan. So in addition to looking at the biology, looking at the chemistry, and looking at some of the other features, we also have to look at the aqueous engineering, the water engineering here, to make sure it's robust and it'll hold up to waves and wind. Electric motor, So the idea of how, many, how much pollutants were taken out of the water is the question that we're trying to answer with the devices we're going to see today. What's different about our project is that we're trying to do this not in a lab or big tank or something like that. We're doing it in the open water using wild algae. Um, so the idea is you have this 40 foot long flume filled with algae and you can measure the water quality at one end and then where, where the water's coming in and then you measure the water quality at the outtake and you can see how much uh, phosphorus and nitrates and um, uh, carbon and, and how much oxygen you've added to the lake. Watch this drill team precision, the way these guys do this, it's great. About 35 minutes, the world oil consumption will fill this up.